Well, knew this type thing was going to happen, but uh, here we have an article from Yahoo News. Fallacy. Americans should be prepared for new COVID-19 restrictions. I'm Grid7. And let's just kind of get into this because we all knew this was coming. They can't stay away from COVID and shutting everything down. But uh, let's see what he has to say. Uh, White House Chief Medical Advisor Dr. Anthony Fauci on Saturday warned about the potential for the reinstatement of COVID-19 restrictions in the U.S. In an interview on the BBC's Sunday morning, Fauci said with U.S. residents that need to be prepared for the possibility of restrictions being put back into place. Yeah, they're, they're always going to be saying that there's always going to be a new variant. But uh, no, presenter Sophie Raworth asked if the new infectious COVID-19 variant could lead to future lockdowns and mask mandates. I don't want to use the word lockdowns. That has a charged element to it. But I believe we must keep an eye on the pattern of what we're seeing with infections, he said, noting that the U.S. is currently moving toward normalcy. This is very political speak. No, politics. No, he did. He's not saying there is, but he's not closing the door on it with that. No. Having said that, we need to be prepared for the possibility that we would have another variant that would come along. Fauci noted, and then if things change and we do get a variant that does give us an uptick in cases and hospitalizations, we should be prepared and flexible enough to pivot back towards going back, at least temporarily, to a more rigid type restriction such as requiring mask mandates. I mean, more political speak. They don't really say what an uptick is. Now, is that a large uptick, small, anything? And right now, cases and hospitalizations and deaths have fallen rapidly in the U.S. since the winter's COVID-19 infection surge. Data from the John Hopkins Coronavirus Resource Center shows the U.S. reported 42,967 new cases and 800, uh, 985 new deaths in the past day, whereas daily deaths in January exceeded 4,000. I usually come on over here and just type in COVID cases and you know, Microsoft Bing brings up this right here. This is daily deaths and what was reported, the daily average for January didn't get above 3,000. So either this John Hopkins Coronavirus Resource Center has some very different data or it's not being report, or the data they have is not being reported right here. I mean, uh, they do have, no, yesterday was 512 deaths versus, uh, you know, they're saying 985, so they're saying almost twice as many, and 42,000 cases. Let's see. All oh, right, there. Forty-two, eight, two, nine. And nope, I'm not seeing that one. Although that one says new deaths 1,156. I don't know where. No, I did find kind of close to that number. There was something right there. So I don't know where they're getting this 4,000 per day. No, daily deaths right here in January. I mean, okay. And then go, continuing on here. According to the Centers for Disease and Control Preventage, Prevention, the highly transmissible BA.2 Omicron subvariant that is spreading across the globe 
currently makes up 54.9% of the cases. Fauci cautioned that the same conditions that appear to be driving the, the resurgence of cases in Europe are happening in the U.S. We had this happen with Omicron. Omicron came through, and also, and we didn't shut down for Omicron. And it. Now I remember Biden saying, "Winter of death for anyone not vaccinated," and it didn't happen. You know, they're continuing to call, to cry wolf over and over and now, now they're wondering why everyone's zoning out now uh, but Fauci continued it's greater transmissibility of the BA.2 is it's is it's the relaxation of restriction particularly in the context of indoor masking in congregated settings and also the fact that immunity due to both vaccination as well as people who've had been previously infected tends to wane with the SARS-CoV-2, particularly with Omicron, he said. Last week, Fauci said he does not expect another surveyed, uh, major, so, uh, major, uh, another major COVID-19 surge. I would not be surprised at all if we do see a, somewhat of an uptick, he said, which kind of count, counters what that says. He does go on, I don't really see unless something changes dramatically, that there would be a major surge. But right here, now he goes, no, he used an uptick, but not a major surge. And then up here, you know, if a variant does give an uptick in cases, so how much is an, are, are we going to do anything with a major surge or just an uptick? It goes on with the administration now out of funds for our fourth COVID 19 uh, vaccination dose, Americans' pandemic future is murky. On Tuesday, the Food and Drug Administration moved to authorize a second booster of the Moderna and Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccines for people ages 15 and older. The CDC is expected to weigh in on the decision. I believe they actually did approve. I don't know if that approval is using the... uh, emergency use authorization or if they actually went through FDA approval but uh, no, just my personal opinion right here this entire thing right here that he's saying you know, the uptick and all this type of stuff uh, where's our treatment where is you no? Know, if you get COVID you go to the doctor doctor goes here take this right here you no know, write a prescription Take this. If you don't feel better within a couple of days, no contacts us again. If it gets worse, go to the ER. That's what we always think of when we go to the doctor. But I'm still hearing, no, I could be wrong. I'm still, still reading stories and other type of stuff of people going to the doctor and not be, and being told, well, if it gets worse, go to the ER. But they're not really given anything. And I know a lot of people now, no, especially with Omicron, that took basically cold medicine and you know, coldies, flu, that type of stuff, and you know, hardly had anything happen. And it's one of those things with the treatment, you know, if you have that, how many people, if their symptoms and all that got less severe, it may not have gotten any worse and might have pre- prevented them going to the hospital and the hospitals being overrun and people dying. You know, how many thousands or maybe tens of thousands of people could have been saved if we had actually had a treatment but they're they're so even this reporter is so focused on the vaccine it's vaccine 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 that's it it's time to get off just the vaccine as the only savior now that's my two cents uh, what, what do you think did you see this coming did you not see it coming it's like Oh, here we go again. Let me know. YouTube, Rumble. Give a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next video.